Hi YouTube, my name's Jeff and I run a website called vegalcar.co.uk. I take ordinary waste vegetable oil, I clean it and I run my car on it. Today I'm going to be talking about a technique for cleaning waste vegetable oil, a technique I call my advanced settling method. Now to get the most from this video, um, really you should have seen a couple of my other videos. One is understanding settling, so you understand what it is and of course setting up a settling tank. If you've seen both of those videos then you'll understand that settling is a very easy natural method whereby gravity cleans oil and gets rid of all the fats, the water and all, all the nasty stuff. In a moment I'm going to be showing you an animation on this the advanced settling method and for some people this animation will be enough, it will explain enough. They'll see what's going on and they'll be happy with it. Other people might want a bit more of an explanation. And for those people, if they wait until after that animation, which is only about 30 seconds, I'll go through everything in detail. So let's get on with it. So here we are, the advanced settling method. What we're doing is we're pouring some waste vegetable oil into this header tank through a coarse filter. This waste oil is then passing very slowly over a period of hours, several hours you want, and that oil is going slowly down and being introduced into the bottom of this conical tank here. This tank is where all the settling will take place. As the dirty oil passes into the bottom of this tank, the oil is forced upwards, and of course at the very top is the cleanest already settled oil. That clean settled oil passes through this pipe into the filter tank where it goes through a filter sock and this would be a 5 or a 1 micron sock. The oil falls to the bottom of the sock, passes through and sits inside the filter tank, filling up the filter tank until here in this case day 3 we're ready to empty the tank. So here we go, we turn on the pump, empty the filter tank, move the clean oil into the storage tank where it's ready to be used at a later date. We can pump it out through another filter if we want to. Okay, let's talk a little bit more in depth about this advanced settling method. Um, well, what you need to understand about this technique is it is a, a, a displacement technique. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, everything pretty much hinges on this conical tank. Now, I'm calling it the conical tank, and I used a conical tank because I had one. It doesn't have to be a conical tank. So just remember that. But I'm going to call it conical tank just for the ease of this video. So it's a displacement method. And by that, what we mean is there is a finite amount of oil in this conical tank. Let's say it's 200 litres. So right at the beginning, when you very first set this method up, you're going to need 200 litres of clean oil and you're going to pour that clean oil into this conical tank. There will always be 200 litres of oil in the conical tank. That is what we mean by displacement. It's always going to be there. So if I come over to my head tank and I pour in 20 litres of oil, that 20 litres of oil will force its way into the conical tank, but at the same time, 20 litres of oil will force its way out of the conical tank, meaning there will only ever be 200 litres of oil in the conical tank. Now the conical tank is where all the settling is going to take place. Over a period of days and weeks and months, oil is going to settle. Uh, the, all the nasties are going to fall to the bottom, all the clean stuff is going to go to the top. So we start off with a nice batch of clean oil in here, and over time we're going to introduce dirty oil. And that dirty oil is going to settle to the bottom, it's going to stay there, and the clean stuff is going to go to the top. So all your settling, all your settling filtration is taking place in this conical tank. So let's come back over to the header tank here. It's called the header tank simply because it's a term I borrowed from the plumbing industry. And it's called that because it's a highest point in the system. If you look, it's taller than anything else, allowing the oil to flow downwards. And the oil which passes through a coarse filter, 100 microns or something like that, comes through this pipe here into the bottom of the conical tank. So your dirty oil that you've put in your header tank is introduced to the bottom of the conical tank, which is where we want the dirty oil to be. And we want it to come in nice and slowly. It's a slow process. We want it to take several hours. And to do that, we use a lever valve 
and we almost shut this pipe off so that it trick this oil trickles through this pipe here and arrives at the very bottom of the conical tank slowly over a period of hours now as that's coming in all the nice clean stuff at the top is being pushed out and as it's pushed out obviously it's going to go into this filter tank here now my logic is at this point by the time it's been settled it's already beautifully clean settling is a marvelous system and if you do this nice and gradually as i say over a period of hours and you don't overdo the system by going mad on it day 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 if you do batches like i do i, I might do sort of you know probably 60 70 liters every fortnight or something like that and when i do that i do it over a period of three or four days all that way there's always resting going on and so the oil is always able to settle naturally and as the oil settles it cleans as i say my logic is once it's settled it's clean but i'd like to be a perfectionist and so i thought in my filter tank here which i've called it a filter tank only because i use a sock which i suspend inside this filter tank and it, i use a one micron sock um, I always tell people to use two socks just in case one's got a hole in it. It's just a little thing that I do. So you take two socks, put one inside the other, and if one does degrade, if one has got poor stitching, say, the other one will catch everything. So the oil comes in, falls into the sock, and of course passes straight back out because it's nice clean oil. But it will then store inside the filter tank, and it will keep up, up, up it goes the level until you manually take the oil out now of course you're going to take the oil out you could do it the hard way with a tap and bucket or you could attach a pump now i would suggest for ease of expense using a simple drill pump they are very cheap and they're easily replaceable and if you keep them in the system with oil inside them they'll last absolutely ages so just attach a manual drill and then with this pump around here and extract oil from the store from the filter tank rather into the storage tank and there it sits again it sits now as i say i tend to work in batches and so i might do ooh, as i say 80 liters 70 80 liters and then because i me because i love settling i tend to leave that clean oil in the storage tank for another good week allowing the settling to take place again just in case so by the time I'm ready for it, I know that it's been settled over here. I know that it's been filtered to one micron here. And then I know that even after it's been filtered to a micron, I've allowed it to settle again. So this oil is beautiful and clean. And again, I can use a pump to take the oil out of the system. And because I'm me, I've got an inline filter. Just because I had one, I really don't think it's necessary. But I did build an inline filter in the system because I had one. And I used a pump because I had a spare drill pump. And then I pumped it directly into my vehicle. You could just simply have a, a tap here and empty the contents into a container and, and put it into your car that way without worrying about this filter. So again, another recap. Dirty oil in here through a coarse filter, catching most of the, the big stuff, the crumbs, the, the food stuff. Dirty oil in the header tank pushes out the settled oil from the conical tank. And of course it pushes at the bottom, forcing the clean up. The clean goes in through a filter, so it's filtered again. And then that's stored here until you're ready to push it into your storage tank where if you're sensible, you let it settle even further, and then you know that what you've got in here is beautiful stuff, filtered to at least one micron, and suitable for any vehicle use. And that's pretty much it. Just a couple of quick tips. Do make use of lever valves, because we want the process to be slow. Slow is good in settling. And do make use of drill pumps, because they're very cheap, and it saves breaking your back hauling all the oil around. Um, the system really does work. Uh, I used it for about 18 months and I can tell you it works an absolute treat. But it is a little difficult to get your head around, I appreciate. So check out my website, vegalcar.co.uk and look under advanced filtering systems. 
it, it is covered there in probably in the same amount of detail to be honest but sometimes reading and watching in combination can help if you're still confused do send me an email i will also say that when i did as i said i used this system myself for about 18 months and my theory was absolutely spot on i said that the settling alone was probably good enough to keep the system clean and sure enough i think I used a filter sock and I think it lasted 12 months, around about 12 months. And at that point I noticed that the filter sock was getting clogged and it was slowing things down. And I thought, oh well, a filter sock lasting 12 months, brilliant, what do I care? And so I changed the filter sock for another. But then after just a, a couple of months, it was clogged again and I thought, hang on, what's going on here? And then I realised that I'd saturated the conical tank it was now full of dirty oil and I will also say that in my case the conical tank was only 120 litres so if you're using the 200 litre tank obviously it's going to take twice as long before you reach that saturation point and of course I probably filtered ooh, a couple of thousand litres by that point so the system does work it really does trust me on that one if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to get in touch you can contact me via my website vegilcar.co.uk and I would ask if you please subscribe to my videos because it helps me to get the message of vegil motoring out there. Thank you for watching.